Six players still lacking tactical familiarity. I don't know if that will ever change now. I think it does get to a point where players just don't get... Like, they, they, they can't get any more used to it. They're either used to it or they're not. Uh, it depends on age and things like that. And I think we're, we're at that stage. We've got quite an old squad in terms of... Um, in terms of age, and I know I mean that with the greatest of respect, if anyone is watching. And I definitely will be up at Birchwood more often next season watching Hatfield play. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Wow, Hammond with the shot there. And that was a great night. Brentford fans, very, very kind, very generous, um, very nice. Didn't feel anxious about being there at all, and I have felt anxious about being at some grounds in the past. Oh, I thought Darcy was going to score then. And just thinking, huh, we smashed you the last time we played you. Oh, what a save. Gonzalez Velasco with the shot there. First time volley and the keeper. He's just pulled out probably save of the season to keep that one out. Great play here from Carter. Threads it out wide to Argent. Cross came in. Back post volley. What a save that is. Hammond with the ball. Gonzalez Velasco's header. Another great save there from the goalkeeper. Is it Gregory? Yeah, another great save from Gregory there. That was a certain goal. And Hudson Doncaster whips it back post. A header again, and this time it is in, and it is Darcy Hollis with his first goal of the season. Great bullet header. First goal for the club as well. I'm not sure if that's true, actually. I'm sure he scored in the cup last season, but there we go. Hudson Doncaster's ball in. Meets it at the back post. Gregory did get hands to it, but spilled it. So he's let himself down a little bit there. So yeah, you score one goal and suddenly you think you're... um. Uh, quick, name a midfielder who scored from distance. Matt Taylor. God, I've gone back some years there. Start home with the goal. <laughs> I went like 12 years ago then, Matt Taylor's goals. Great finish there from... Uh, from... Wait, who scored? It was start home, wasn't it? Yeah, Baker with the flick on, Studholm with the finish. Sorry, the ball wasn't next to his name there, so I forgot who it was. Oh, yeah, Studholm, good finish. First goal in a while, I think, from him as well. So happy to see his name on the uh, the score sheet again. That one nearly went out of play there from Studholm. Argent keeping it in, whipping it in. Baker's header over the top. That would have been a very, very nicely taken goal had that gone in. Just to change things up a bit, make us a little less predictable. You'll be amazed how subtle differences can still make a huge difference. Ha! Oh! Hudson Doncaster. I nearly called him Harker then. <laughs> Baker back to Carter was what I was trying to say. Hudson Doncaster with an absolute thunderbolt of a, of a shot there into the top corner. This is a nice pass from Gadger. Springs the offside trap, finds Baker... He went for the low cross there. I'm not sure why. Then he pulls it back to Carter, who slams it past Gregory into that top corner. A beautiful finish. And that is 3-0. And yes, I would like to confirm the tactical change still. Well, excuse me, yawning. I had a really early start for some reason this morning. I have no idea why. Hudson Doncaster. Good flick. Baker running onto it. He scores and it counts. He's onside. So Baker with the assist to Carter for the third goal and now Carter returning the favour for the fourth. And that is his 50th goal for us in the first two seasons, which is absolutely outrageous. Then that said league goals as well, which is even more outrageous. And once again, Hudson Doncaster winning a header. Look at that. Broke the offside trap perfectly and he's just dinked that under the keeper. Bottom right corner. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful goal. How many dogs has Gonzalez Velasco run over? There we go. Finally he gets it. Crosses it in. Gadger with the volley. That would have been a blockbuster of a goal had that gone in. Sadly, not today. Akram could have got that first time, actually. He didn't need to let it bounce, but he did. So, there's that. Argent then with a good cross. Very good cross. And there's the goal from Afsar. Slid in. Middle of the goal there to score. That kind of came out of nowhere. I thought the defender was going to clear that then. I see a replay of this. Argent with the throw to Akram. Back to Argent. Crosses it in. 
Look at that. He's just waiting for it. Abioyi with the... Uh, ab ab Why can't I say his name? Abioyi. Abioyi with the missed header. And then Afsar with the uh, free goal, really, to aim for. Gregory, no chance there. That You know, the ball had already beaten him. Hollis is going to get there. He's not. And that's one back. Harpenden with the goal back. Nick Davey there. That's a very cheeky finish from him. Outside of his right foot by the looks of it. Stafford with the header. Davey running onto it. Yeah. Good finish. Very good finish. Hollis. His lack of pace exposed slightly there. Smart free kick that was badly executed in that Gadja didn't really do anything. I'd have liked to have seen him turn and pass it forward still or maybe spray it out wide. Not just stand there and have it taken off him. And that's a missed header there from Tuttle. Alves through. Oh, side netting. All right, Hammond. Gonzalez Velasco. Studholm. He goes over the top. Afsar nods it down to Gonzalez Velasco. He crosses it in. Baker with the layoff to Gadja who went for glory. Oh, imagine if that had gone in. That's a good ball over the top. Simmons running onto it. He's got a shooting opportunity. Oh, he was offside. He does score, but I think Extents left that because the flag went up. Akram, crossing opportunity for him. And he, he just waited, didn't he? He saw there. He waited an extra beat for Holt to stand in front of him. Just so he could kick the ball straight at him. Oh, that was a good effort, though. From, from uh, That was Akram again, I think, that Gregory saved. What the hell's just happened to my OBS? Referee. That's a nice ball, though. Baker with the takedown. He squares it to Afsar, who goes for goal off the post. And then cleared away. Only as far as Argent, though, who tries to cross it. Boness with the challenge. Argent with the cross, and it's cleared away from Baker. Great ball from Hollis. Look at this. Self, selfless play there from Baker as well to lay it off. Really unlucky from Afsar. Oh, that was nearly a really good goal. <laughs> Hammond with the ball. Gonzalez Velasco to Afsar. Nice little nod down there to Gadger. Smart play from him. Gadger with the shot. Oh, that was close. That was close. Good play, actually. The two twins finding each other there. Second bite of the cherry. Oh, and again, it was twin one to twin two who headed it just over. Or twin two to twin one. I think it was Afsar to Akram. And that's full time. 5-1 then. And again, I know I whinge and whine in the second half of matches. Not only because not much happens, but there were, what, two goals in the second half? Yeah, plenty of yellow cards as well. So some tasty challenges going in. Once again, we uh, ignore this at this point because everyone was playing everywhere. Uh, but this kept them pinned back. Nice stuff. The player stats then. Hudson Doncaster was man of the match. How was the crossing? A couple of hundred percents. Good stuff, including uh, Tuttle when he came on. A 50% from Afsar, which was good. 25 from Akram, not bad. Passing in general, all above 50 which is good. In fact, all above 60, I think. Yeah, which is also good. Shooting, again, a couple of hundreds. Some 50s, some 66s. Not too bad. Overall, then, pretty good game. Pretty happy with the overall performances. I keep saying the word overall now. Happy uh, in general with the performances. We did some good stuff there. Oh, John's just messaged me to say... First team lost... In the final on penalties today. That's very unfortunate. Lots of penalty shootouts from the sound of it. Um, but yeah, unlucky to them. But great job to get to the final. Because to, obviously to lose a final, you must first get to the final. And the under-23s also lost in the final 1-0 against Ware Sports first team. So congratulations to Ware. Commiserations to the under-23s. But some very good performances from both teams, in fact, to get to the final. Um, I did watch the under-23s side. In one of their matches, they went 2-0 down very, very early on against FC Broxelona, which I think is one of the best punny names I've heard um, <laughs> in uh, in uh, 
I was about to say five aside football, but it's not. But in grassroots football, it's one of the best punny names I've heard. Um, they're based in Broxbourne, by the way, in case you're wondering. And uh, so, yeah, unlucky to the to both teams today, but congratulations to the winners and good job getting to the final for both Hatfield teams. The future is bright still for Hatfield Town. Very, very good stuff. <laughs>